Welcome back to Simply Southern. It's time for our Ask a Farmer segment, and today we're in Blunt County at the farm of Jimmy Miller. Jimmy's here with us today. Tell us a little bit about your operation, if you would. We're primarily in uh, cotton, peanuts, and, and a poultry farm, my nephew and I, and uh, have been for the last several years. We don't do any grain anymore. Uh, but the peanuts have been real good for us because of rotation with cotton pollen. What, what is the advantage to having so many different crops on your farm? Well, one thing is the markets. You know, you, you've got fluctuations in markets, and so having different crops gives us an opportunity to maybe do better on one than we do the other. But the rotation is the main reason for the peanuts and cotton rotation. All right, tell me what rotation means. Uh, that's where we're in peanuts one year and then out for one or two, preferably two years, uh, just with cotton going behind it. Cotton will make real good behind peanuts because it's legume leaves nitrogen in the ground. And then you can come back with cotton behind the peanuts, uh, I mean the peanuts behind cotton, and they do real good. So it's, you know, it's a, it's a double combination. Each one benefits the it other. It benefits the other. It'll also work with corn they, uh, well, but it, peanuts don't rotate with soybeans well because they have the same disease problem. So we see a field of peanuts out here. Kind of tell me how a peanut grows. What is its life cycle? Well, it takes about 135 to 40 days for the type of peanut we grow here. Uh, from the time you plant it to, to get it ready to harvest, to be inverted and harvested. Uh, we like to plant as early as we can. Some years we get to plant the last week of April, but most of the time it's May. And we try to get that done in the first 10 or 12 days of May if the weather will cooperate. Uh, because our growing season is short. We're due frost any day now, but we have all the rest of our peanuts inverted even though they've been rained on, but we're as far north as we are. We, we have, we're, you know, we're playing a, a game there to, to get the peanuts in and then get them out of the field before they get uh, cross bit. Now, what kind of peanuts are these? Are there different types? They're different types. These are runner peanuts that we raise here, but they're all the runners we grow are of a hyolytic type. So we grow two or three varieties uh, to have different maturities a little bit on them. And, uh, the hyolytic uh, peanut does well for us in North Alabama and usually carries a little bit of a premium because uh, the hyolytic is a little longer shelf life after they shell them. And, and just real quickly, what are those, uh, what do those peanuts go for? Uh, what are they using? The, they'll go in candies, uh, Hershey's, m and Mars, they go in uh, Jill, Skippy peanut butter. That, the company we're with right now is Golden, uh, through Golden Peanut and that's where they most of their sales are. Right. Even, Go ahead. even though they do sell some uh, just shell raw peanuts to foreign countries sometimes too. All of them do that. So. All right. Well, Jimmy Miller, thank you for having us out to your farm today. If you've got a question, send it to askafarmer at simplysoutherntv.net. Coming up, Stacy Little of Southern Bite has an easy way to turn plain old cabbage into a savory sensation. And in a southern kitchen, the best way to simplify is to fry. There's nothing quite like sitting down to a home-cooked meal with fresh vegetables from the garden. With Bonnie Plants from your local quality co-op store, you can enjoy the freshest vegetables right from your own backyard. And no matter if you're a raised bed gardener, a rose gardener, or if you farm hundreds of acres, your quality co-op store has exactly what you need to get the most out of your plants. You'll always find what you need, plus friendly, knowledgeable advice at your local quality co-op store. There's one near you. I'm Grover Plunkett. Cattle business uh, really is the center of what we do on the farm. We have about 250 uh, brood cows, and now we're in the tree business a little bit too. I don't know if I can pinpoint a date that I found out about out on farm credit. They've always been around. My grandfather did business with them, uh, my dad did business with them, and uh, here we are. So you don't want to talk to somebody that doesn't understand what you do.
What sustains us? Food, family, faith. Alabama farmers live those things every day. They conserve our resources, clothe our families, and fill our tables. They cultivate jobs for our communities and values for our future. Farmers grow it all right here in Alabama. Sunday mornings aren't the only time visitors flock to Sally Howard Memorial Chapel. Hundreds of visitors to Alabama's Lookout Mountain stop by this charming little church every month to see a unique marriage of nature and architecture. Known to many as the Rock Church, this reproduction of a Scottish chapel was built by DeKalb County lawyer and former state representative Milton Howard as a tribute to his first wife for whom it's named. One side of the building is completed by a large boulder, which forms an imposing backdrop to the altar. Words from Sally Howard's final letter to her husband are inscribed above the pulpit, where services are still delivered every Sunday. Bordered by beautiful DeSoto State Park, Sally Howard Memorial Chapel is a scenic, one-of-a-kind Alabama sidetrack. For more Simply Southern, follow us on social media. And while you're online, visit our website, simplysoutherntv.net. Simply Southern continues in a moment. Sweet Grown Alabama is such an amazing brand. It'll be great for consumers to be able to connect immediately with an Alabama grown or made product. Sweet Grown Alabama, what it means to us is community. By buying Sweet Grown Alabama, you are able to support your community um, and kind of play your part and help the farmers. There's a, a huge advantage uh, just to your local community by buying local, whether it's local farms or local businesses. Find Sweet Grown Alabama farms, markets, restaurants, and stores near you at sweetgrownalabama.org. <laughs> 